Tangerine. The Tangerine automation interface replaces your existing flying faders computer and brings automation directly into the DAW. At the center of this system is our injector application. This background software manages all communications between your flying faders and the DAW. On top of directly controlling the interface, Injector gives us a real-time view of both fader and mute status. Automation is written directly inside Pro Tools using our Mothership plugin. A single instance of Mothership can control up to 96 console channels. It will create a volume, mute, and trim track for each. It's extremely simple to get a session set up for outboard automation. Right here I have my mix session open in Pro Tools. I previously already mapped all the outputs one-to-one -to, -one to the console. When using console automation it's important to start with your Pro Tools fader set to 0 dB so that they come out at the right volume for the console. Over here I have a master track created and its automation mode is already set to touch. The only thing I need to start using automation is to insert our Thai Mothership plugin. From there, I can turn the mix engine on directly from the plugin, or by using the run button directly on the flying faders master control module. As you can see, the faders are already controlling Pro Tools. Let's get a basic mix down inside Pro Tools. To start off, I'm going to open a couple of automation lanes just so that we can see what's going on. Then, using the injector software, I'm going to go in and set all the console channels to right. As you can see, the fader record LED is now on across all channels. I can now make the final adjustments to my first static mix, and then I'll put Pro Tools in play. As you can see on the open automation lanes, we're writing in real time right in the Pro Tools. I can use the automation windows right on stop feature to print the mix all the way to the end of the song. When I put Pro Tools in stop, all the written tracks toggled automatically to read mode. So now, when I play back, the faders move exactly the way that I wrote them. And they will hold their final position all the way to the end of the song. Since I'm pretty satisfied with the first pass of this mix, we can go into the save menu and save the session as a new version. This allows us to revert back to it at any time in the future. When I'm ready to make adjustments, I can put a channel into touch by simultaneously pressing record and match on the channel. As you can see, its position continues to update as I jump around the Pro Tools session. I can overwrite the fader move just by touching it. Once I'm done writing the automation, it will return to its place just by releasing it. Now, when I put Pro Tools back in play, the fader will play back the new modifications that I just made. It will also allow me to continue writing new automation. In the Flying Fader system, Mute Write and Volume Write are independent. To write mutes, press the Mute Record button. The Mute Record LED will turn on, as will the indicator in Mothership. Then continue using mutes just as normal. As long as the track's automation mode is in read or in touch, the mutes will be played back. It's possible to program more advanced automations using groups on the console. To start, I'll open the injector software and create a new group. I'll press select on the master and then select on all the slaves I want to enter the group. It's possible to adjust the independent volume of each slave and the master will offset them all in unison. Inside Pro Tools, the members of the group are reporting their position in real time. And I can record automation either to the master or to its slaves independently. Let's start off by automating the slave. I'll put Pro Tools in play and write the first pass of automation only for the slave fader. As you can see, it plays back in the same way any ungrouped fader would. Now I can automate the group's master fader by pressing the volume record button. As I write automation for the master fader, the group faders continue to respond in real time. And the slave fader that we wrote automation to also plays back its automation simultaneously. And that's pretty much it for using grouped automation in Pro Tools.
Tangerine.